Well, this might just be the best low-cost S-Type yet. Let's have a look. I recently reviewed a couple of the Sire Larry Carlton guitars, the Telelike T7 and the Semi-Hollow P90-equipped H7V. Now, if you haven't seen those videos, I'll leave links in the description. But the bottom line is, I found both to be well put together, nice playing and sounding guitars that feel much more expensive than their price tags. Well, now Sire has somehow managed to retain the same quality for even less money. And today's guitar, the S3, comes in at a very wallet-friendly $399. Now, comparing the S3 to the more expensive S7, you really aren't losing much of importance with a lower-priced model. Now, you don't get the flame maple veneer, the roasted maple neck, or the locking tuners, but you still get the same clean build, nice fretwork, rolled fingerboard edges with very comfortable fret ends, reduced heel and cutaway, and, of course, the bone nut. <laughs> the pickups and bridge are called Sire Standard Series, but the bridge appears to be the same design and high quality as the S7. And as for the pickups, well, who knows, but as you'll see, these sound quite nice. Now, there's also no push-pull pot for coil-splitting the bridge humbucker, but it does split when selecting position 2, so you'll still get that characteristic sound in that position. And honestly, I doubt most players will miss the bridge single coil, since this humbucker mates very nicely with the other pickups. So we have a mahogany body with this one, a satin-finished C-shaped maple neck with a nice rosewood fingerboard, and 22 jumbo frets. Now, the width at the nut is 42 millimeters, about the same as most vintage fenders. Okay, let's just quickly go through the sounds. Here's the neck pickup. Neck and middle. Middle. Middle and bridge. Now, of course, when you select middle and bridge, you get the inner coil of the humbucker. That's a pretty convincing position, too. And finally, the bridge humbucker. Sounding good. Okay, let's get on to the demo with the backing track.
Well, I'd say Sire has another winner here. I can't find anything to complain about that wouldn't just be personal preference. With its 9.5 inch radius and medium C-shaped neck, any player who likes the feel of a modern Fender will feel right at home on this. Now, I prefer this switching system to the push-pull. It's instantly familiar and gives you nothing fussy to think about. I don't have an S7 to do an A-B comparison, but in some ways, I actually prefer this model, despite it costing $200 less. Now, sure, the locking tuners would be nice for quick string changes, and unless the pickups are way better on the S7, it'd be hard for me to justify spending more just for the roasted maple neck since I've never found regular maple necks to be unstable in the least. So there you have it. A gig-worthy guitar that doesn't need anything upgraded for not a lot of money. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.